Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free blog post template for Divi's virtual conference layout pack. These are the results we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So once you get here, you will need to download it. So I'm gonna scroll down here until I see this button that says get it for free today. Click on it, enter your email address, click on download, and then download the files. Okay, so you can see the files have been downloaded onto the bottom of my screen here. The next step is to unzip this file. So I'm going to show in Finder, and here it is. So the next step is to unzip it. So I'm going to double click, and here is my file. And take a note of this extension, it's .json, okay? It's very important that we unzip this, otherwise this won't work. The next step now is to install this template onto our website. But before we go ahead, let me just show you what our default blog post page looks like. So this is what it looks like by default. So as you can see, there's not a lot of uh, customization that has been done to this. This is straight out of the box when we install Divi. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is to install the template. So we need to go to our website here. And right now I've logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. You wanna scroll down all the way to the bottom here until you get to Divi. Click on Theme Builder, and then you want to uh, install it by clicking these two arrows. That's your portability. Next, click on Import. And remember that file that we unzipped? Here it is, okay? I'm gonna drag and drop it here. Or you can just click here and navigate and find it on your computer. Next, I'm just going to drag and drop it here like that and then import theme builder template. Okay, so you can see here that is it's been installed. So all I have to do now is to click on save changes and my template now should be updated. So this is what we had before we installed the template. So now if I refresh this page, we have a brand new design and this looks really nice actually. So now that we have this, I want to show you how you can go in and customize this layout to match with your fonts and your colors on your own website. All right, so back over here, all we need to do, we went the theme builder. We need to click on this pencil icon here, and that's going to take us to the builder where we can go in and customize our layout. Okay, so let's start here with our section background. So I'm going to come over here to section settings. All right, so now we are in our section settings. The next step is to come over here to background. So this black color here that you see is where it is. So you can change this to whatever color you want. So you can see now that our background color here is updating as I'm going through this. So if you want to change this layout to match the colors of your existing website, you can just go in and change your background colors over here. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here. All right, so next we have our categories here. So to go in, I'm just going to click here and go into my settings. So over here, there's a few things we can do. So first of all, you can see this is dynamic text. So this is going to show our category here once the page is shown. In fact, let me show you here. So this here is showing hiking clothing because that's the category that I created. Okay, so we can customize this by um, coming over here to do design and uh, we can start by coming over here to text. So this is where you can change our text. We can make it all caps. So you can see it's updating there. We can change the colors. We can change the size. Uh, we can also change the alignment. Okay, so that is how you go in and make these text changes. And if you want to get rid of the background, you can just delete it. But that is how you update that. Next, we have this area here. Now, this is our image. So if you want to uh, have your image here, in fact, let me show you what it looks like. So that's this image that's showing right here. Okay, so this is a dynamic image. So we don't have to go in and change anything here. Whatever image you use on your blog post is the image that's going to be shown here. All right, so let's move on. And uh, here we have our post title. So if I go in here, I can um, customize the text by clicking on this pen brush icon. And this is going to take me to my heading text. So over here, I can, uh, let's say, for example, I use Poppins for my website and I would like to match my fonts. This is where I would select it. And you can see dynamically it's been updated. So if I were to save this, if I come over here and refresh, this title here will change to Poppins. Okay, and it's, this will happen across all the blog posts. Okay, so if you want to change the colors, you can just come over here and change your colors like that. 
Okay, so uh, moving on, we have something going on here, and that is this other area here, where we have our name, our date, and our comments. So all this is dynamic text and can be... Um, so all this is dynamic text and can be adjusted the same way. So let's go into this one here. So I'm going to click on my module settings. And all these are text settings, by the way. So what you want to do is to go into design. Or you can just click on this pen brush tool. It's going to take you now to our text settings. So here you can see we have our link color. So we can change that to perhaps even that. So you can change this to whatever color you want. And you can further customize this by increasing the size maybe. So you can see here as I'm doing that, the size is increasing. If you want to change the font, you would come over here, change the font to, you know, whatever font you want. Okay, so that is what you should do over here. The process is the same. I'm going to close out of here. All right, so the next step we're going to go into here is our module settings. So this is our post content settings, and that is this text right here. So right now it may not show, and that is because we have this white background here, so our text is not visible. But if we were to go in, like if I click on this pencil icon and change the color, you can see now it is showing. If I need to go in and um, show the paragraph text, there we go. So just because it's blank doesn't mean that there's nothing on there. It just means that we have a white background, and that's why this is not showing. But this is where you'd go in and customize your text. So, for example, uh, we can change this from Poppins to, say, Tajawal, for example. So, as you can see here, we can just go in and uh, choose whatever font we want. And that is the font we're going to have here on our description. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here. Next, uh, we also have uh, this row. So this row here has a background color, but we can go in and if you want to give this your own color, you can just come over here and uh, give this your own color like that. Okay, I'm going to close out of that. Okay, so moving on, let's take a look here and see what we can do next. Now here we have uh, this text here. Now let's go into our module settings. Now this is our post navigation settings. So this will take you to the previous post. So this can be adjusted by coming over here to design and uh, you can go into the text, change the font. So let's say you want to change this to Poppins. You can see this has been updated and you can also update the colors by coming over here. Okay, that one is a bit straightforward. Moving on, we also have this section here which has our author and our author bio. So this is dynamic text. Let me show you how this works. So this is also created using our blurb settings, but it's pulling our data through dynamic text. So this here, I'll click on this gear icon. You can see that this is our post author. Okay. Now, if you want to customize this, uh, the quickest way is to just go in and click on this pen brush icon. It'll take you directly to the item that you need to do to make changes to. So for example, I've got the author here. I can change the text. You can see there in real time, the, change, the text is changing. And if I were to change, say, the size, I can just increase it over here. And you can see it's increasing. I can also do the same with the name, John Doe. So you can change the font here to match the rest of your website. You can also increase the size by coming over here. So that is how you update that information there. And you can also change the color of the font itself. Okay, great. Moving on, we also have this text. And again, this is just a normal text. So I'm going to come over here to design and you can just go in and change this. So at the moment here, you can see this is Poppins Lights. You can change this to whatever font you want over here. And uh, you can also change the color and so on. Okay. Now, I can see here that we have a background design in there. So let's go in and see how we can uh, adjust that. So I'm going to click here into my row settings, come over here to background. And we have that design over here on this tab here. This is the image tab. So if you want to get rid of that, you can just click here and now it's gone. But if you want to keep it on, uh, you can just, uh, you know, leave it on there. But that is where you can make changes to it. Okay, so moving on, let's go to our related posts. So on our related posts here, we have our two posts. And this can be adjusted by going into this blog settings. So here, if you want to change the titles, just go in here. And uh, let's change to Poppins. And that is how you update it. 
Here's our color. Okay. And you can do the same to the, the category and also the description. Over here, we have our email opt-in. So this email opt-in here is very important because we need to get this right. If we don't get this right, this won't work correctly. The idea here with our email opt-in is to collect emails. And uh, when someone adds their email address and hits subscribe, they'll be added to your email database. So to customize this, the very first thing you want to do is to head over to email account. So click here on email account. And you need to have an email service provider beforehand before you can use this feature. So there's quite a lot to choose from. We have Active Campaign, Aweber, ConvertKit, and so on. Get Response. We even have Fluent CRM. So once you've chosen your email provider, you need to link it to Divi by adding your API key. So once you add your API key, it's going to ask you to choose a list. If you um, create your list in your email service provider, it will show here. And then all you have to do is to click on add. And now this will be connected with your email service provider. Now, the next step is to come over here to success action. So this is also very important because you can also customize the message that your subscriber sees after they hit subscribe. So in this case, they only see a message that says success. But you can add whatever message you want here. Just type it up. Over here, you can also create a specific page that they are redirected to after they hit subscribe. So you need to create the page beforehand and then click on this drop down, select redirect to custom URL and then paste the link to the page over here. So it's very important that you add the complete link over here. So when someone clicks here on subscribe after entering the email address, they'll be redirected to that specific page. OK, so that's all you need to do here to make this form work. Now let's take a look at uh, this design right here. So you can actually go in and uh, customize this as well to say whatever you want. Right now it's saying join our newsletter. You can change this text to whatever text you want. And uh, also, if I come over here to the background, we can see that we have this design over here. So if you're not a fan of that, you can just delete it. And all you have is this text which you can further customize by clicking on this pencil icon or paintbrush icon. And uh, we can reduce the size like that. We can change the color. We can do all sorts of things there. Okay, moving on, we have our social media icons here. So I'm going to go into the settings. So it's important that you link this to your social media profile pages. So to link it to your social media profile pages, just click on this gear icon, click on link, and then paste it in here. Once you're done with that, go back, do the same for Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay. Now moving on, we have our comments area. Now for our comments area, we can also go in and customize this by clicking here to go into our post comment settings. So again, you can specify whatever you need to uh, customize here by clicking on the paintbrush icon. So like, for example, I've just selected this one here. I can now change the color. I can uh, adjust the size. If that's a bit too big, I can just bring it down a little bit. So there's a lot that we can do here to each and every part. So for example, let's say you want to customize this. You can just click here on this paintbrush icon and you can change the color. You can change the font like that, and so on. Okay, so the trick here is just making sure that you uh, select that paintbrush icon. So once you're done with everything, just hit save. And then once you finish saving it, and you come over here to your page and refresh, this is the layout that you'll have with your own colors, your own uh, fonts, and whatever font sizes that you choose throughout this post design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.